Hey sexy lexi babes and welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to be learning how to make a neon orange lip gloss so as you can see i am going to be doing wholesale jars as well i have my gloss base already ready to go and here are all of the tubes and the squeeze tubes and things like that so i know you guys love lip gloss videos so i had to bring it back so we're just going to get right into it So to begin, we are going to take this neon orange pigment that I got from Lip Kit Laboratory off of Etsy. I just found out about Etsy, you guys, and I just also made a store on Etsy too, so make sure you check that out because I cannot wait to get my first sale on Etsy, so I will have that in the all of my important links link in my description. But yes, we're going to be using this nice bright neon orange pigment. take this mango dragon fruit lemonade scent from get sucker and we are going to add this to our gloss base again this is ready gloss which means the gloss is already pre-made ready to go all i have to do is add the color and the flavoring oil and i always have everything i use in every single video linked in the description i promise you anytime you're looking for something i can guarantee it's in the description and I do this so that way you guys can easily recreate whatever I am making if you will want to or if you want to experiment at home. I always have everything easily accessed for you guys. That what I have to do is click the link and it'll take you right to every single thing that I use. Our kitchen aid is gonna come save the day no more sore arms from mixing all day and night we are gonna go ahead and let this blend up this gloss nice and beautifully as you can see this color is so pigmented bright and gorgeous I love 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 this shade It's perfect for summer and it is dropping this Friday so if you guys are interested in purchasing it make sure you turn on your alarm clocks and do not forget because it's dropping at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this Friday also, whenever you see me using my phone, I'm getting some behind the scenes content because of course I have to post not only on YouTube, but on Instagram, on TikTok and everything else. So I have to get a lot of different footage so that way I can post it on different platforms, sorry, <laughs> platforms, platforms, including pictures and everything like that. So yes, you guys, that is just a little side note. I'm going to go ahead and remove this mixer piece and I just want to say that this kitchen a is definitely a lifesaver you guys and the thing I like about it is it's super easy to clean as long as you have that Dawn spray soap it's way more easier to clean than a lip gloss filling machine in my opinion because with the lip gloss filling machine you have to take everything apart with this is just a huge glass bowl that can fit a lot of gloss and it has measurements on the side so I really really like this kitchen a mixer versus me using a plastic um, bowl or me using a lip gloss machine which I will use my lip gloss filling machine but not until I have like you know like thousands and thousands of orders but for now this hand mixer is just well not hand mixer but this KitchenAid is just very 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 helpful so since I am about to fill these tubes, the squeeze and wand tubes, I do want to pour some of this gloss base into a plastic bowl just because it'll be easier for me to reach versus trying to get my hand and arm all the way inside deep in that glass bowl, getting gloss all on my arms and things like that. So I'm just going to pour some inside this bowl for me to do the tubes and then the rest that's inside of the kitchen aid, I'm going to use to pour into our wholesale jars.
take my 20 milliliter syringe and start to fill our squeeze and wand tubes. our eight ounce wholesale glosses look absolutely beautiful and these can fill up to 30 tubes depending on the milliliter size so if you have for example 10 milliliter or 15 milliliter or 5 milliliter it all depends on the size of the tubes that you're trying to fill and i also have ceilings with these as well again everything that i use is linked in the description so just make sure you go to the description if you are wondering where to get anything or if you want to recreate anything that i ever make How 
the squeeze and wand tubes look once I'm done finish filling them. The color is just so out of this world. Like I really love this orange. I already made a gloss for me to put to the side to keep because this color is just so beautiful. And I think it's definitely giving Fanta. What do you guys think? Let me know if we should name it Fanta. so much for watching today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it be sure to be on the lookout for this gloss dropping this friday do not forget set your alarm so that you can shop and stay and watch until the end if you want to see how the beautiful tiktok turned out and also if you want to see how it turned out with the lit music make sure you head over to my tiktok which is at the real sexy lexi inc i will see you guys in my next video Got the hammer in the ring.